conferência de imprensa com Susan Lamons, a campeã deste All Airs Ladies Open. Susan, congratulations. Thank you. What a final, what a week for you, most important title of your career. How yeah. are you feeling after this crazy match? Yeah, I am, I'm still trying to believe what just happened. I mean, it was a crazy match, yeah, from 6 4 5 love up to 4 1 down in the third set, and then coming back, yeah, it was. It was a big roller coaster, but I'm very happy and also a bit tired. How did you manage to, to come back after wasting that 5 love lead in the second set and being, like you said, 4 1 down on the third? What do you think was the key for you? Well, in the beginning of the third set, I was still thinking about that a lot actually, that I didn't manage to win the second set, and then at some point, in, at 4 1, I was just telling myself to keep fighting. I mean, she was 5 love down. So from 4-1 I could maybe also come back and she made like two double faults in that game and I think that switched the momentum a bit and I was feeling positive again, so. Did you enjoy to play the, on that court with a lot of crowds, uh, with no Portuguese players playing and even though that a lot of crowds supporting you? Yeah, that? yeah, it was super nice, I mean, for a final, uh, I've never played such a big final with so many people watching, so it was super nice even though I feel like they were not always uh, clapping for me, but I mean, yeah, it's still good. <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about you, please, uh, Susan, my friends, uh, <laughs> introduce yourself, please. Yeah, I'm Susan Laumans, <laughs> 24 year years old from Rotterdam, Netherlands. Um, yeah, <laughs> what do you want to know? <laughs> well, I know you, you start playing tennis uh, at six, I believe. Yeah. Um, why tennis? Uh... Yeah, I think uh, some uh, from my family were playing tennis and I started in my hometown uh, at the club and I'm actually still playing at the same club with the same coaches, so that's really nice. and. Um, yeah, I think because of my family that I got into tennis and I was also doing gymnastics until I went to high school and I had to choose and I chose for tennis. And so far, uh, uh, what are your main goals uh, in this uh, in this sport? Um, well, my main goal is to get into the top, hun top 100. Uh, it's getting uh, closer and closer now. And for this year was one of my goals to win a bigger title. Uh, I won already a bigger title in ITF, but now this one, so yeah, that's really nice. Then a good uh, start. Yeah. <laughs> how, how tough was it for you mentally? Because she had to leave the court to receive the medical treatments. Then obviously, five love up in the second set, you waste that lead. How tough was it for you mentally to deal with all those situations? I think it was fine actually. Uh, I was just focusing on my breathing when I had to wait and then uh, just before she came back I was doing some uh, movement on the court so just to get some uh, a bit more warm again. But yeah, I was just uh, not so worried about it. I was just focusing on myself. But was, was there a point in that second set where when you started thinking, okay, I got it, it's mine, I'm gonna win it? Uh... Yeah, I think uh, at 5 love for sure yeah, I had, a, had the feeling. Um, yeah, but I was also pretty nervous actually in the end of the second set. I mean, when I was 5 love up, so I lost a bit of quality in my shots. And I think, yeah, what she does really good is when she you give her some space, she can smack really hard and hit really good balls. And I think that's what happened in the end. Um, but yeah, I was a bit nervous. <laughs> was it better pressure-wise in the end of the third set? Was it easier for you? Yeah, I think so. Also uh, at 4-1, I, actually yeah, I was a bit surprised that I was also coming back because it didn't really feel like it was my match anymore. Um, but yeah, at 4 all, I was thinking, okay, yeah, it's now even again, I can do this again. And especially when I had the match points, I was just telling myself to keep going for the shots and yeah, get the match myself and don't uh, wait for her to make a mistake or anything. I would like to face you if I play because you, you fight like, like a lot, you return a lot of balls. Do you, are you proud of the way you are as a tennis player, the message you, you send to the other player, you have to beat me to win. Yeah, I think uh, for 
sure um, yeah I'm getting a lot of balls back so yeah I'm, I think for the opponent it's pretty tough to know that even if she hits four five good shots that there's a chance I will get everything back and um, also I, I just stayed calm actually I didn't show that I was annoyed which of course I was and I was also insecure and nervous but I was not showing it so much so I think that's good for uh, me and in the match that still she she needed to get the match herself and I would not give it away just like that. When I ran 30, I think since the end of the, of the match, did you receive any kind of special message for, from a player that you know or something? Kiki, for example, Kiki Vertens or someone well, else? Uh, in the group chat of the Billie Jean King Cup, <laughs> there were a lot of messages sent already, but actually I just called uh, some family and my coaches from home and I didn't look so much on my phone <laughs> yet, but uh, yeah, I'm flying back tonight, so I have enough time to see everything. <laughs> And will you have time to celebrate after the flight or why are you heading to the next week? Um, no, I'm staying home for the next two weeks, so uh, I will for sure have some days off and uh, celebrate with everyone at home, of course, uh, and then prepare for the next tournament again. And what's the, the schedule looks like for you before the, before the French? Uh, what, what are you going to play next week? I'm just going to play an ITF in the week of uh, 6th of May. And then the week before Roland Girls, I'm just going to practice, get ready and uh, be fresh for the tournament. Like you said yesterday, not the first time for you in Portugal, but how do you think you will remember this week or first the biggest title so far of your career? Well, it will be a very special memory. Um, it's my biggest title. Um, I was all alone in the last few matches, so yeah, it's very special that I managed to do that. I'm very proud also of myself and yeah, of winning the biggest title, so it will for sure have a special place. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.